Okay, uh, number 10 here. Um, the, what this is asking is, is the top chord of this cantilever frame in tension or in compression? Um, just visually, we can probably tell that it's uh, in tension, right? Um, because I have a fairly heavy load coming down here uh, at that outside point and have a relatively light load comparatively to that heavy load pushing back in the other direction. Uh, so I'm pretty sure this thing is gonna be um, stretching out like that as it, uh, uh, as it, uh, as it gets loaded. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's in tension. But uh, just to check it, I can very easily do a moment around uh, this location. And what that does is it allows me to get rid of this sort of more complicated uh, load there uh, on that angle, as well as getting rid of any of the loads that are happening in this wall this way, because again, that's, those are loads that are going at a zero distance. And so the moment, uh, calculating the moments across the whole thing, that set of moments are all gonna get crossed off because they're all zero distance away. So the only two loads that I have uh, left are the 2K, the 5K, and then a response uh, up here uh, that's going in one of those two directions. Um, so if we actually did the sum of the moments, it's a fairly simple calculation. I probably won't bother going through it, but it, it would be uh, uh, a 10 foot uh, dimension times the two kip, uh, a 10 foot uh, dimension times the five kip. One of those is um, going this way. The two kip is going this way. The five kip is going this way. Uh, so those are uh, going against each other. And then the question is, uh, which way is this other one going? And I'm gonna assume that it's also going in that direction because I think it's probably in tension. Uh, and if we do quickly kind of calculate it out, you'd find that in fact, yes, that is, uh, um, I think it's a three kip uh, um, load at that point. Um, although I'm not 100% sure about that if you took the calculation, but, uh, uh, but it's definitely in tension and you can do it very simply uh, by, that, uh, by choosing where that moment wants to get taken so you can get rid of all the complicated uh, parts. Uh, another way to do it is by a force diagram. Um, so you might start uh, at a starting point, go two kips over, uh, five kips down, the angle, uh, which is whatever it is, because it's just a diagram, so we know that it's uh, uh, associated uh, to the same length as these uh, forces. And then to close it off, I have this uh, coming back, and again, that's that force, and that's showing that it's going in the same direction and that it's in tension.